Nurgle all the time. Welcome back, Hobby Maniacs. I'm Rob Bear, and in the studio again, taking a look at one of the Wobbly Modelers Army Showcases. We got Austin here with us. What's up? And we're going to break this down for you. So it looks like we got, what, Chaos, Space Marine, and Demon? All Army? Nurgle Demons. So yeah, there is a Space Marine detachment in there to get the extra Demon Princess. So you guys can see the Demon Princes are converted. They are Cryptors, old fantasy models, obviously, and then some fly wings on them. But they turned out excellent, in my opinion. I think so. Match the theme of the army. But as you can see, we've got all the Nurgle stuff. So lots of Plague Bears, lots of Nurglings up front there. Pretty much every character you can think of. We've got a custom Scrivener. Uh, we don't like kind of the cartoony ones, so we're using this guy. You may recognize him from another fantasy model. We've got Heralds, we've got all the Princes, and then really the heavy hitter, the Fly Unit here, Max 9-man Fly Unit coming in. Uh, all Nurgle, all the time, like Rob said, and we really enjoy this one. All right, so tell me about these paint jobs, dude. So, uh, Kelsey Haley did an excellent job, uh, really took his time to come back over these. Obviously, he's a very good airbrusher. He airbrushes things pretty quick, but he came back and... Really uh, touch these guys up well. There's some unit markings on all the Nurglings. You know, each squad has different tattoos on them. Really neat there. Obviously, we got the Corpse Field bases from Secret Weapon. Um, and you can see he really took the time and filled each base with water effect. And uh, the amount of water effect we used on these bases, it took a pretty extensive dry time. So not recommended to move these models once you do that. But once it does settle, as you can tell, they still look wet. I mean, they really do look like it's a nasty corpse field. And uh, that was the desired effect, and he did a really good job with that. The wings, I think he did a really good job with the wings. Obviously, on the Demon Princes that he did custom and the flies themselves. Um, really, you know, showing multi multiple tones in there. And it makes the white really pops off the green. Obviously, you don't want to do all green. Yeah. So, it really a uh, good contrast with the army. And if you saw the display board he had this on, I mean, it really is a nasty looking army. Yeah, white is always tough to highlight, so it's better to go back the other way with uh, with gray like he did right there. Like, I definitely think that looks really good, very striking. So now... You mentioned Adepticon. This was your Adepticon army, right? Yeah, Kelsey actually ran this in the singles. Very, Pretty much this list, all Nurgle. This was also used in the Long War doubles, and then I believe it may have got best painted. After all, he had a high battle score and maxed out that rubric, so this was one of the showcase armies there as well. And then um, we were able to use some of it in our four-man team. We ran Death Guard and some Demon Detachment as well. So we got a lot of play in Chicago. So, obviously, list-wise, this is the singles list that he took. There is a Supreme Command with Chaos Space Marine. So, there's three Chaos Space Marine Demon Princes. Um, the way there's uh, the ones with the noses are demons, and then all the other ones were his Space Marine guys. He really took that at the time for the psychic powers that Chaos Space Marines have access to. But, obviously, now, with the way the FAQ is, the rule of three, you can't take the same faction more than three times so so that worked out it worked out now so it's debatable but some, most people think you can still take three chaos demon princes and three demon princes of actual nurgle faction so I mean, te technically they're a separate data sheet separate data sheet so this list still works out so you got the three there then you have six hqs and two battalions you've got scrivener and i believe the pox bringer is what the herald is called now yep. mm -hmm. and then the other demon princes there Obviously, the nine flies, as you can tell, they're really a heavy hitter. There's no AP in this army, but the damage potential with all the psychic powers, these guys really can put out like six damage attacks on sixes, you know, four damage attacks on fives, so on and so forth. Really can kill some big stuff if your opponent fails to make the saves that they need to make. And then it's a surviving army. Obviously, this stuff is all high toughness, feel no pain. Five up and vulnerable, uh, plays the missions pretty well, and the demon princes hide behind the mass amount of bodies and actually so you can never target them. They can't be targeted, mm -hmm. and then obviously they are your heavy hitters, killing the things that need to actually be killed. I like it. Good strategy there. 
So now this is what? Painted to the, the wobbly standard? Wobbly standard. It's kind of our middle bracket. If you guys are looking for a commission, this is what you would expect from a traditional wobbly paint job. We have tabletops, which is a little lower than this, obviously a, more of a speed job. And then we have, you've seen some of our armies are what we call best in class. If you really want us to take the time and effort to customize stuff, we have that available as well. But overall, this is a fantastic army. It plays well. It's fun. It is thematic and uh, incredibly resilient. Very, very tough to kill all of it. Yep. No doubt. Well, we'll put the descriptions and the links to all your various media. So if folks are looking for uh, some commission work or would like to check out some of the ar armies you guys have done, they can click below in the description field.